Hey everybody, we're on site today looking at a sonic drill rig. We're gonna see what that consists of, what it looks like, and we're gonna have one of our HRP experts here tell you all about it. All right, let's take a look. Okay, so Joel, what are we looking at behind us here? We are looking at a sonic drill rig right here. It is a Eichel Camp 140XL Duo. They are hired by us to drill down to 225 feet below grade at five different locations. And why would you use like a sonic drill rig? What's kind of the use case for it? Going down to this depth, sonic uh, helps because of the immense pressure down in depth. The vibrations uh, with injection of water at the same time helps loosen the soil, and loosen the material to drive the hole down. And so what happens? They come and set it up. What's that process look like? They come, they pick the location, set the drill rig up. They'll level everything out, make sure everything's completely level. They set up the box right underneath the drill rig around the hole, and then they'll send in the first uh, four inch or five inch diameter casing down into the hole and establish their hole and then they'll keep going down from there. Okay, so they put multiple casings down in there? Yes, so a sampler is a three inch casing. There's a five inch casing that you drive on the outside, which is your main hole. And then there's a seven inch casing they can use if they need to relieve pressure on the five inch casing. Okay, and that, so it like vibrates the soil? Is that how it works to get it to yeah, come Yeah, so they, the vibration gets sent from the control unit uh -huh. down through the rods, and ideally most of the vibration is concentrated down the tip. Yeah. So the tip's mostly vibrating and rotating, rotation and vibration and water. Okay, and what does the, the sample, the sleeve look like when it comes up? What's that soil like? So the sampler goes down, mm -hmm. it, uh, the five inch rods advance to a depth, and the sampler is the three inch rod goes beyond that. So okay. it goes into the pilot. So it goes into fresh dirt beyond that. And everything, it's a 10 foot, 10 foot length and every all that soil from that 10 foot length gets captured in there, uh -huh. plugged up just from pressure, brought back to the surface and then extruded out and that's how we sample it. And what does it look like when it's uh, time to move on to the next hole? What is that process? So through? right now they're moving to the next hole. So they're backing out all of the casings from the ground. So they're taking out the five inch and the seven inch casings from the ground, loading that up. They're gonna load, the, put the mass down, take the box out, they'll rework the area around the hole. This hole, since we're not doing a well right away, they'll backfill with either native material or drilling sand, and then move to the next location. Gotcha. Okay, well that's what a sonic drill rig looks like, folks. If you learned something, make sure to subscribe, like, and see you in the next one. Bye.